Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to use Comsol Multiphysics to compute the axial stresses and forces in a truss structure. I will use the example shown on the screen. So we can go to Model Wizard and select uh, 2D. Uh, you can also select 3D if you have a 3D st truss structure. Under Structural Mechanics, you can find truss. So we will use this physics interface. And the type of study will be stationary. Using uh, the truss physics interface is very easy. Uh, the geometry is very simple. All you have to do is insert the different members by inserting the by inserting line segments. So let's go ahead and do that. The first line segment, we can specify the coordinates of the line. So this is the first one. We'll insert the second segment. Okay, and third. Okay, for the remaining two segments, we don't have to insert the coordinates. We can just select the uh, vertices. So I will select this vertex and this vertex and the line will be generated. And now the last segment, select the two vertices. And that's it for the geometry. So you can have a very simple or very or, or a very complex truss structure. All you have to do is insert the different line segments representing the force members in the truss. And then we can specify the materials. You can specify different materials or the same material for all the uh, uh, members. I will use structural steel. mechanical properties will be defined in the material. And now we'll go, we will go to the physics interface. You can see that the model is uh, linear elastic. If you want to model plasticity or thermal expansion, you have options to do so. So it is very similar to what you would do in the solid mechanics interface. The cross-sectional area of each of these members is specified here. So a default value is given. You can change this value if you want to. And if you want to insert a different cross-sectional area for uh, some members, you can also do that. So all you have to do is go to boundaries and insert cross-section data. So let's say we will use, we will double the value of the cross-sectional area for this member only. And then you need to insert the boundary conditions. We will have one pin over here. So this point cannot move. And on this side, we have a rolling constraint, which means the um, this point can move along the x-axis, but it cannot move along the y-axis. So for that, we need to insert a prescribed displacement, select the point, and then check on y direction. It will be zero. Do not check on the x direction because it is free. So depending on the physics, this, um, the displacement along the x direction will be computed. If you have a um, prescribed distance, which is a maximum, for example, you can check on x direction and then insert whatever value. But for this simulation, we will keep it as free. And now we need to insert the forces. So point load. We have two kilonewtons in the negative direction here. And 
and here we have one kilonewtons in, in each direction respectively. So that's all for the physics. We inserted the, uh, the loads, the boundary conditions, all the properties are defined. The mesh, all you have to do is click on build all and uh, each member will be represented by a single element. Uh, but you don't have to worry about this because you will be getting the exact solution. And then you can go to the study and click on compute. Okay, I think I, yeah, I, I forgot the negative sign in the physics. Let's compute the solution again. Because we have a handful of elements, uh, modeling a truss uh, problem is always very quick in COMSOL. Okay, so you have the plots generated automatically, so you can see the force in each member and you can even see the stress in each member. And we can also see we have a zero force member here, which is not stressed. You can see it against the color bar. Uh, if you need to uh, look at any other parameter, you can always uh, go to expression and then check the list of uh, quantities that can be plotted. And that's all for a truss, uh, for a truss uh, structure. So it is very simple. Uh, I will be uploading other tutorials in which I show how you could model a beam using a similar physics interface and also how you could combine beams with uh, a truss structure. Thank you for watching this tutorial.